forward to the best Christmas ever. All right. Let's talk about Terrifier 3. I mean, I have to admit, I have a bit of a soft spot for these movies because back in the day, I made some no-budget horror flicks with my friends about a killer clown. So, yeah, I get the appeal. But let's get one thing straight. Terrifier 3 is not for everyone. It's for the people who like their movies to straddle between the line between I can't look away and I might need therapy after this. That sweet spot between campy and absolutely deranged. So my wife always asks, why do these movies exist? And honestly, that's a valid question and that I ask myself sometimes. But for horror fans... This is the stuff we live for. The extreme over the top. How did they get away with this kind of horror? And Damien Leon, the man behind the madness, this guy comes from a background of special effects and makeup. So when he makes gore, it looks real. It, he, he, he's not just making a horror film. He's creating something that shocks you to the core while still giving you a wink that says, yeah, you know, this is ridiculous. But isn't that the fun of it? <laughs> Terrifier 3 continues this tradition, and let me tell you, uh, this one goes places. Now, the movie starts with a warning, and if you can't handle the first five to ten minutes, well, you're not going to survive the rest. And you know what? I respect that. There is no sugarcoating, no easing into it. It's like Damien telling you, here's what you signed up for, so buckle up or get out. And some people stay... And some people bolt for the exit. I mean, <laughs> there's something almost beautiful about this unflinching, brutal brutality of these movies. And some might say it goes too far, and you know what? Maybe, maybe they do, but horror is supposed to make you uncomfortable. It's supposed to test your limits. As fans, we come for this, for that rush of adrenaline. That moment when we ask ourselves, can we handle this? The star of the show is Art the Clown. He's become a icon, a twisted legend in the horror world, and honestly, it's kind of amazing that he's done it without a backing of a studio. And you know what happens when studios get involved. They want to tone it down and make it more palatable, but Terrifier is not meant to be palatable, so it's really just there to make you squirm. And I give Damien credit for sticking to his guns, and he made an unrated extreme horror movie that outperformed Joker 2, and that's huge. But back to the big question. Why do these movies exist? Why do we watch them? It's like asking why people are so obsessed with Taylor Swift. I mean, some people want catchy pop songs. Others want, well, you know, they want to see horror go as far as it can. But it's all about preference. You like what you like, and if it gets too intense, guess what? You can always turn it off. What we never do, we're doing. But I gotta say, I respect that Damien Leon has done here. He's created an iconic character on a shoestring budget that the character Art the Clown is going to stick around for a long time. And as a filmmaker, especially a young one, that's the dream, right? To make something that re resonates with people, no matter how messed up it is. Is Terrifier 3 a good movie? Uh, that just depends on your definition of good. I mean, personally, I appreciate it. I respect it. But if you haven't seen the first two movies, you have no business jumping into this one. Because, well, you gotta earn your stripes. So, if you're feeling brave, or you're just curious, find Terrifier streaming, see how far you can make it before you have to tap out. And trust me, it only gets crazier from there. So these are my thoughts on Terrifier 3. It's bloody, it's bold, and if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and for more movie madness, drop a comment below. And I want to know your thoughts on Terrifier 3. <laughs> Alright, thanks for going on this film journey with me, and I'll see you next time. Who's this Santa? He's scaring my kid. Yeah, he's scaring me too.